If you learned to have self-doubt, you learned this from a very young age. This was a program that was installed in you from a very, very young age when you were too small and too young to know any different. If you learned to be a doormat, you learned to always think less of yourself and to always think of everyone else as being better than you were in every way. Prettier than you, had a better lifestyle than you, had more money than you. You trusted what someone else did more than you trusted yourself. And when you are gaslit, what that means is that you learn to not trust your own reality. And that is a very painful thing to have to learn. You learned that you cannot trust your own eyes. You can't trust what you see. You cannot trust what you hear. You cannot trust your own feelings. And instead, you learn to trust the person who installed that program within you. The problem is, is that then we do that, you do that with others in the world and you always put yourself last even in the way that you speak your language indicates a sense of not valuing yourself i like talking about this and helping people with this because many people struggle with knowing their worth when we don't know our worth or value i use the two interchangeably when we don't know our value, we tend to allow other people to treat us any way they want. We absorb other people's disrespect and bad treatment because we don't know that we are worth more than that. And the thought of not dealing with that and having nothing on, on the other side, we, we have this comparison then, well, I either take that and get love sometimes or nothing at all we tend to have this black and white thinking all or nothing versus seeing shades in between variations in between but we do not realize that when we value ourselves we don't let people treat us badly it's not okay and we learned that we were just a doormat. We learned, in other words, to see the world from the perspective of being a victim because we were, you were victimized at some point. We don't come into this world thinking we're a victim. We learn it. We learn to think, I can't do anything about it. It's happening to me. This person did it to me. And so we learn the work. We have this conditioned response of helplessness. I can't stand up for myself, can't say anything. And that's not true. That is not true at all. The process of healing means to unlearn, uninstall all of this garbage that was put into your mind and put in something else that looks like knowing who you are, getting clear on what you want, being confident in what you feel and having self-awareness and discernment. It's knowing that you are good enough, that being perfect is not a place to hide. It is only a trap and it will not serve you. Because that inner critic called perfectionism is you picking on yourself, pick, pick, pick. Thinking that if I'm perfect, look perfect, do it all perfectly, say everything perfectly, I will never ever stand in judgment of someone else and then I will be okay. And then I'll feel good. And then I will be enough. And that is a bunch of bullshit. Because even if you were perfect, you attained some high level of some measure you had for yourself. Then you would raise the bar again. You would find someone else to compare yourself to and it would start all over again.
It's a trap. It won't lead anywhere good. It will only lead you into more criticism, more self-hatred. If you are a doormat, it means you don't have self-love. And to heal this, we need to start taking steps towards acknowledging who we are, our, our awesomeness, our wonderfulness, the good things about us. And if you can't take out a piece of paper and write down 10 things about yourself that you like, but you can come up with a page full of things you don't like, you need to sit and just be with yourself for a moment. Step outside that critic, step outside that monkey mind, and think about what do you like about yourself? What do you contribute to the world? What do others love about you? And put down the self-hate. If you want to go back to it, it will be there, but don't do that. To be gaslit, which I mentioned earlier, again, means for someone to teach you that you cannot trust the very thing you see and hear and believe and feel. It is installing self-betrayal. You do not trust yourself at all. And from that arises this cancer of self-doubt. So when you start to see that within yourself, question yourself. Am I being too hard on myself? Am I feeling like I have to be perfect or, or I can't, or I'm paralyzed, I can't do anything? Life is too short to go through it feeling like you cannot stand up for yourself, that you do not deserve respect because you do. You do. Everyone on this planet deserves respect and it starts with how we treat ourselves. When you start treating yourself with respect, when you start loving yourself, taking little steps, then your out, outer world will start to reflect that as well. I'm going to close here. Thank you for joining me. This is a very deep topic. More to come. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon.